In today's video, I am going to be breaking down, of course, one of my favorite ETFs right now, and that is the Vanguard Canadian Capped REIT index ETF. So this is basically an ETF that holds a lot of the different REIT companies. I was never really a fan of REITs up until recently. I used to really hate them because every time I would look at a new REIT, it was just like it would trade sideways, had huge dividends, but it didn't have growth. And uh, I just wasn't a big fan of them. And now I'm starting to become fans of them. And today you're going to figure out why. So this one pays 3% dividends. And I really like it mainly because of the dividend and how low the MER is. The MER is only 0.38%. From there, we also want to see the volume. And the volume is actually quite low. Only 13,000 shares being traded every single day. So if you're looking to maybe get in and out of this quickly or if you're looking to hold it long term but a lot of shares long term let's say five or ten thousand shares or more then you may not be able to get in and out of it very quickly just just so you know now if you look at the five year chart it's actually got some pretty nice growth you're roughly around that thirty dollar price range back five years ago and then before all of this virus stuff it was up to thirty seven dollars which is a ten dollar increase which is well over thirty something percent over that four year period of course now we're getting back to thirty six thirty seven dollars so we're getting back up there this would have been absolutely ridiculously amazing to buy here but I did not now, something else that I really do like and the reason why I really like this is, of course, the monthly dividend. If you're using this for income. So, for example, if you're like myself and you're self-employed and you want just like an extra little bonus at the end of the month or the beginning of the month, um, then this is a fantastic option. The other option or the other reason why you would really like something like this is if you're getting into retirement or if you're about to retire or maybe you just want to say, well, I'm 40 years old, I want to travel the world. Whether Whatever it is, if you're looking for income, you want to find ETFs that pay monthly and that's what this one does. And it generally sits somewhere around 90 cents over the past year or so. When we start scrolling down, the only thing I dislike is the fact that, yes, it's had some even better months it's also had some even worse months so it's something one of those things that you just really have to look at and say do i want to have that randomness or do i want to go with something like a bmo zwc instead that pays something that's standard across every month now of course these are some of its big biggest holdings and we're going to check out some of the top companies that it holds. First is Canadian Apartments Properties Real Estate Investment Trust and then we're also going to check out First Service Corp. Sometimes it's also better just to invest in the individual companies as well and that is also an option. So of course this first company has Huge volume, 340,000 shares traded every single day with a 2.25% dividend, which is still really nice. Over the past five years, it's gone from $30 to $60. This is why sometimes it's better to invest into a single company instead of a whole massive ETF. And this one pays also every single month as well. And of course, you're getting an 11.5 cent. And look how look how nice that is every single month the exact same I really really like seeing that they raised their dividend back in March of 2019 and since then it's been sitting at 11 and a half cents beforehand it was 11.1 cents something else that I really like to look at is their financials and of course how they are doing as a company and we can see that they are having better revenues every single year and of course they've had some really good years when it comes to earnings however with their revenue going up and their earnings slightly taking a dip in 2020 however being massive in 2018 and 19 2020 we have to almost call it a write-off even though they've had better revenues it's lower earnings probably because of the pandemic so I'm not too worried about that but it will be interesting if in 2021 it starts to rise up again and then first service corporations or corporation FSV and with this one you are getting something that is a pretty good volume however that dividend less than a half a percent dividend not very good when it comes to income however check out this growth 
this growth is amazing. You're looking at sub $75, closer to $70 per share five years ago, now being worth $230. So clearly they're not paying a massive dividend. They're using most of their revenues probably to grow. That is most likely what we are seeing here. They also don't pay a monthly dividend. They pay a quarterly dividend of around 20 cents. Right now, 20, 22, 23 cents. It looks like they have raised it recently higher than the average than it was doing before. It's been beating quarterly estimates. However, its revenue has been going up. Its earnings have been pretty well stagnated with 2019 having negative earnings, which is kind of scary. So out of those two picks of the top 10 from that this ETF, I would definitely invest in Canadian Apartment Properties Real Estate Investment Trust personally myself over the ETF as well as over the other stock as well, mainly because it does pay a essentially a standardized dividend, which is nice every single month, even though it's a lower percentage. And, of course, good volume to get in and out of it. P.E. ratio seems to be low, in my opinion, versus other REITs. I really like this. I really, really, really like that company. It is something that I'm currently looking at investing in. So that is my take on this ETF. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in my next video.